Hello and welcome. If you have a guitar, I highly suggest grabbing it. Um, and maybe after this video, you might really want to have a guitar. Um, now, if you're watching this, you probably saw by the title and or the thumbnail that this is a informational guitar video. I uh, wanted to show off something that I thought was pretty cool. Um, and not only pretty cool, but pretty helpful for those of us who are learning how to play guitar and hoping to practice and get better at it. Also, I just think this is a neat party trick. So if you are learning guitar and you're on the journey of kind of practicing your chords and how to finger them, all that stuff, this will be a lot of fun. Not only for strumming, but for finger style as well. Now, if you have your guitar, I, I highly suggest grabbing it. But <clears throat> all I'm going to be talking about today are three different chords. Now, these three chords, the way that they work together is neat because they sound really well together. And these three chords are D minor, A minor, and E minor. Now maybe you already hear just how well they work together, but I want to show you how I want you to practice with them, how I want you to use them, my intention for making this video in the first place. Now I will show graphics on the screen just so you can see exactly how these three work, but this is why I find them so cool because you could just strum or if you'd like I'm going to go ahead and put my finger on D minor you can kind of just pluck away in kind of whatever pattern you want You know, that's just me going one string and then three really quick ones. You could even play different patterns like. I was even messing up there, but it still sounded really good. And I want to point out these three chords specifically because if you're a fan of or have ever heard of the game series called Stalker, it takes place in a fictional setting where after the Chernobyl incident, uh, that whole zone becomes this war zone, this highly radioactive fallout area where, you know, there's fighting and bandits and all that type of stuff going on. And it's a really neat game, very immersive, definitely that post-Soviet era fallout type of vibe. And everywhere you go in the game, what the game does really well is capture that Slavic type of culture, that vibe. And one of those particular details of that is a guitar by the campfire. You'll approach these units, uh, these bandits, these soldiers that are just, nothing's going on. They're eating some salami, drinking vodka, enjoying a chat by the fire and there's one npc that's just playing away these three chords it sounds like and sometimes they'll incorporate some singing but it's a very immersive thing i just kind of wanted to point out and why i think it's really fun and good to learn these three chords is because if you're just starting out in the world of playing guitar or if you're just hoping to pick up the guitar and stay limber with it um these three chords are great practice because you're teaching yourself to swap chords on the go while keeping up with a pattern you're giving your fingers the pads the necessary daily workout they need so that you can form those calluses and play for longer um d minor incorporates all your fingers but your ring finger so your pinky its fingertip is getting a workout um, A minor, you're working out your three right here. E minor, you're working out these two. C. So 
it's really great just to keep up with this daily. I feel like when I'm not really in any sort of guitar playing phase and my fingers are really weak on these strings, just kind of practicing these three chords every day and just enjoying whatever I want to put together, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to just kind of even double pluck. And you can really just freestyle away with this. Um, so I really just wanted to show off these three chords. And if you get a chance to try them out on a guitar, do. It ends up being a great and easy way to give that campfire vibe. These chords are minor. So, yeah, they sound sad. But, you know, the faster you play, it doesn't have to be so sad. And it can kind of be sort of... You know, it's kind of neat. You can practice keeping with certain um, measures of music as well. Oh, see, I've already messed up. What's also really fun is to go from an open G to an A minor hammer down like all three, all three, your first finger there and your second and third finger on the, what is that, <clears throat> D and G strings, just hitting all the open strings and slamming down with those three at the same time. It's really fun. So you can really get fancy with it. Enjoy it. I think... Hitting the open strings works really well with these three chords, and these three chords just work really well with each other, and it's it's a good time. That's that's all I really kind of wanted to bring to YouTube today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'm happy to you know hear it if you'd like to share. Um, but I'll just catch you on the next one. All right. Remember that life is good and to take it easy. Peace out.